Hey folks, Pastor Jay here at Trinity Lutheran Church. We are excited to see you again this week. This is our weekly announcement. Uh, we just have a couple. Uh, you know we are going to be online again this week. Uh, hopefully, you know, things are, are still heading in the right direction. We'll be able to be back in person very, very soon. Uh, but this week, we're also going to begin our, our new uh, series. We're going to take four weeks and really look at what it means to grasp the Word of God. Uh, we're going to be looking at our, you know, take, bring your Bibles with you. We're going to be looking at, uh, deeply at four you know, particular passages uh, that'll help kind of explain what the Bible looks like. But Ken Coughlin, is gonna, our media director, is going to lead us this week. Uh, he's going to walk through that uh, with us. And then we'll hear from uh, Reese Turner. We will hear from Christian uh, Reed. And we'll also hear from Ben Lander. And so we're very excited about uh, seeing how they use the Word of God in their own lives and how we walk through that. But folks, we hope you have a great week. We hope you've had a great week thus far. And we'll see you on Sunday online. Hi, everyone. Uh, I just have a quick announcement for you today about choir. Uh, we were able to initiate our first choir rehearsal uh, virtually, and it was successful, and it was wonderful to begin again uh, with the children in choir uh, in a virtual way. We will remain virtual until further notice, but I wanted to confirm uh, for those current choir members and anyone considering joining choir that that virtual time slot for rehearsal will be from 3.30 to 4.15. And if that changes in any way, then I will have another announcement for you. But that is something to plan on as we move forward for the next couple of weeks. Thank you all. Hi, everyone. Just a couple quick reminders for our youth and family ministries here at Trinity. For our children's ministry, we still have our Kids Zone Fruits of the Spirit episodes airing every Sunday morning at 8 a.m., Check them out for a cool story with Miss Jess and Professor Bibleton, and make sure you download the activities for the week so you and your family can do other activities together to continue to grow in the faith and in the Word together. For our youth ministry, we are still currently online, so be sure to check out the link in our newsletter, and if you haven't gotten that, make sure you email me and I can sign you up for it, and we'll be on this Sunday from 6.30 to 8.30 on Zoom. See you then. Bye. Hi, this is Mary Kay Coughlin with the Food Ministry with a couple of updates. Our food closet challenge for the month of January is um, to think outside the box, outside the food box. Um, we are very blessed with food right now, so we're looking to maybe beef up some other areas where our um, clients really need help. And some of that is cleaning supplies, so think dish soap, dish detergent, laundry detergent, fabric softener, household cleaning supplies. Um, we're also still getting a lot of requests for pet food and for diapers and wipes. Um, and then our food truck is going out again this month. Uh, packing is gonna be on January 23rd from 1 to 2.30 p.m. And then we're gonna do delivery in Jop at Joppatown Christian again from 3 to 5 p.m. We will need a couple of volunteers to stick around afterwards and come back with us to the church in order to help unload the truck. And then we'll go out again on the 24th on Sunday from 1.30 to um, 3.30 p.m. We'll be in Edgewood at Woodbridge Center Way again. Um, we really, really, really need help with the Sunday deliveries. Uh, we didn't have a lot of volunteers last month. Um, so it'll be hard to keep doing that if we um, don't get some more help. But again, we'll also need a couple of volunteers to help us empty the truck so that we can um, return it to the rental place. All right, so if you can help with any of these things, um, please contact me at mkcoughlin at trinityjapa.org. Hey, Trinity, I uh, just want to inform you about our uh, food truck that's upcoming on the 23rd and 24th of this month. Uh, we are having uh, some bonus blessings. Actually, this time around, uh, we are planning on purchasing the bonus blessings. They are hygiene products for, uh, for those that we will be uh, then delivering them to. But if you'd like to help out with that, um, you can do so by either uh, contacting myself or Mary Kay Coughlin, or you can uh, donate directly to that. Uh, to the purchasing of those items. We just want to make sure things are a little bit uniform. Um, so, But we definitely could use help for that. And again, that's the 23rd and 24th that we're taking out our food truck into the Edgewood and Joppa communities. Uh, I know Mary Kay had already talked to, uh, had already mentioned 
the need for volunteers. And so I just want to reiterate that we could definitely use help both with the packing and the delivery. So um, please, if you are available at all, either on Saturday the 23rd or Sunday the 24th, please uh, contact one of us and we'll be happy to get you involved in this, this great ministry. It's growing and uh, really reaching into our community uh, with the love of Christ. And that's what uh, really it's all about. So uh, again, thank you for your support of it. And uh, we could use some more help and uh, we look forward to ongoing support. Um, one other thing is just a little personal plug. Uh, I've got a Bible study that will be upcoming. It's the Seven Steps to Bible Basics. This is not a uh, necessarily, well, it is kind of a beginner class, but it's not just for those who are just getting into the Bible. Even if you've been a Christian and have been reading the Bible for uh, 20, 30, for, for decades, then uh, there's still some valuable things, I think, that you could glean from this. So if you're interested at all in joining that Bible study, please contact myself or Lori Hinman. It will be on Thursday nights uh, with the time uh, TBD still. But um, please let us know, and we'll get you signed up for that. All right. Uh, thank you, and have a wonderful week. Hey, it's Lori Hinman, Life Teams Director here at Trinity, and I just wanted to um, give you a heads up on some opportunities that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. Last year was challenging, right? And it looks like maybe this year is going to be challenging as well. So as a Christians in a church community, uh, we need to band together, lift each other up, and help each other through. Have I got a deal for you? We have six Bible study classes that are beginning, and there's sure to be one that works for you. We have men's classes, women's classes, poet classes, morning classes, evening classes. We have um, all kinds of topics. We have uh, no excuses for not being in God's word for the new year. So what do we have going on? We have Sunday nights at seven o'clock, uh, the women are going to gather to do a great study called Jesus and Women by Christy McClelland. Uh, don't miss this study. It's a fantastic study of Jesus' relationship with women uh, within the culture of that time. Um, I'm leading this, and I'd love for, for you to join me on that. Tuesday nights, uh, Bill Schaefer is going to lead a group of men. They have different Bible studies they do, the topics they cover. They're in the middle of uh, choosing the study at this point. So keep your eyes out for that information. Wednesday mornings at 11, Mary Lou Roberts will be leading a study on First and Second Kings. Uh, First and Second Kings are history books of the Israelites and they, they show what happens when Israel forgets that God is there. Uh, Mary Lou is a great teacher, so join, join that one. Uh, Wednesday nights, seven o'clock. Bill Rarig is going to lead a study on the Apostle Paul. Uh, if you're not familiar with Paul, he is the author of 13 books of the New Testament. Uh, and his, he is absolutely vital to the growth of the church, of the new church um, in the time of Jesus. So join that one. Um, his story is amazing. Bill's a great teacher. So Wednesdays at 7 o'clock. Thursday mornings at 9.30. Uh, we have another women's study. This one's going to be uh, on the prophet Elijah. The study material is new. It's from Priscilla Shirer, and it looks like another great study of hers. Um, I'm leading that one as well, so come on out and join. I'd love to have you, you uh, join us. Uh, last one, Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Uh, anyone's invited to join uh, a class called Seven Steps to Bible Skills. Ben Lander's going to lead this one. He's led it before. And this study goes through all the basic things about the Bible. Um, it's it's uh, the, the books and what order they're in and uh, what they're all about and the, what the numbers and the letters mean in the margins of the Bible and how the Bible was put together and just all this great information about uh, basic stuff about the Bible. Join Ben for that. That is going to be a great study also. So I'm going to send all this information out in a separate one call um, email because it's a lot of information. I'm also going to put it out on Facebook and website so you can look at it there. Take a leap, join a study or two or three, get connected to your church community. If you need help getting online for any class, let me know. And you can register for any of these classes just by emailing me. Have a great day.